for joining us today. We're here at Joby's Hats in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, thanks for allowing us to come in, Joby. Yeah, no, thank you for coming in. Joby's gonna talk to us today about care, maintenance, um, and cleaning of your straw and felt hats. I've seen a lot of videos online that aren't quite right. So this is gonna be the definitive um, kind of care and feeding of your hat. Okay, sounds like a plan, man. All right, so we're gonna break this up into two separate videos. Check the link below for the other video. We're gonna to start today with straw. Okay. What do we have here? This is a straw that we use. We call it a practice hat. So okay. everybody, if you notice, it's not perfect. So it's a practice <laughs> hat. We use it. You know, some of our newer guys practice on it, and we just, it's just a practice hat. So this guy, excuse, right? He's, he's still excuse that. Yeah. Juanito's still a. No, no, just kidding. So, um, yeah. So this is a practice hat. Okay. And it, it looks a little dirty. I mean, it's not, it's not yeah. the, it's not the cleanest thing in the world. Yeah. So what are we going to do with this? Um, how, if somebody brought this in to you and said, hey man, I need my hat cleaned. Uh, you know, I got, a, I got a rodeo tonight and how do I, I don't know how to clean a straw. How do you go about cleaning this straw? Okay, well, there's, there's a lot of people out there that use different methods, but you know, you can use always just a damp towel, water, preferably white. The only problem with that is when you use a towel, you can leave a lot of those hairs and strings on your straw and sometimes it's a pain in the butt to get them off. So that is a woven material. It know, is and, a woven. And you can get in those little cracks and creases. That lacquer doesn't completely cover everything. Exactly. So what I always recommend and what we use here is just baby wipes. They okay. work great. Um, we use a non-fragrance one, so no smell to them. And I'm gonna show you right now how we clean them. Okay, okay? awesome. So, you know, I've used baby wipes in the past and we've talked about this, but I didn't know you could use it for the cleanest straw. I've always recommended just a damp cloth or, you know, a mild soap and water and then maybe Windex. You know, yeah. Twister's got that um, straw hat cleaning solution. That's kind of, I've used it behind the hat bar before because it's there. I've never bought it personally. Have you ever used that? Um, I used it. it. It works good. It works good, honestly, but man, just the a towel, wet towel, but the baby wipe, it was the best. Cheap too. It was great and it's cheaper. And then you can carry this with you everywhere you go. Um, we're gonna talk about it also, how we use it on felts. Okay. Um, and and what's safe too is that it's, it's alcohol free. So it will not stain your hat and it'll get all the dirt and you know, it can get uh, blood, um, <laughs> get some ink and get some cake. Um, so whatever you put in your hat, it, it, you know, it might not always work depending on how old your hat is. Okay, so, and this is just for the guys that want to have their straw clean. I know there's a lot of guys out there that live in a ranch that wear this thing every day. It might not work for you, but, you know, if you want to go out for a nice dinner, go to church, you want to go in a presentable hat. So just tweak it a little bit, clean it, and then we'll show you. So. Absolutely. There's a lot of guys out there who suggest, oh, it's just a hat, you know. Let it be dirty. Well, I mean, that's great. You know, if you don't, if you want your hat to look like that, that's fine for you. But there's other people who, you know, want to present themselves in a, in a, in a certain manner. And a clean hat for certain circumstances is, is appropriate. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So we're gonna go ahead and start uh, doing the hat. If you notice, this hat also has, I think, it looks like it's a little sweat stain. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're gonna, uh, that might not come off. Uh, and let me tell you that, because sweat, it's, it's salt that gets in the material and it's really hard to get off. So that might, not, might be one of the things that won't come off. And that actually gets under the lacquer. It gets under the time. lacquer and it's done. Like, how do you take that off? And, that, oh, go ahead. No, there's some guys out there that, that repair and fix hats. But what they do is they paint them. Uh, okay. They paint them. So, yeah, so they're going to cover everything on the, on the hat, but it's going to be a painted hat. So, but we're going to go ahead and clean uh, the stain well, or the dirt. Get the dirt off of it and everything and show you how dirty the All wipe right, is going to be, okay? So just grab maybe two, okay? And there's nothing to it. Just start wiping them down, okay? And a straw isn't meant to be a forever hat. This, exactly. is, this is a disposable hat. It might, if you wear it every weekend to a bar and don't spill beer all over, it might last you several years. But if you're wearing your hat, I, I talked to Cody Bates. He goes through three straw a year, you know? So it just really depends on how you wear your hat. That's right. And the quality of the hat you buy. Yeah, so I can see that it's it, you can see it. Can in, you see it? Yeah, it's flying through the air. All the yeah, time. we can probably use this camera <laughs> to show a little better. That's that's all that was in your hat. 
Okay. And like I said, you can see the difference. It looks much better. Yeah. I don't know you if can you, see I don't the, know difference. the camera's picking that up, but yeah. it looks You can see was, the difference. Really Look nasty. at all the dirt. And I said, and what I like about the wipes is that it will not leave any of those little strings on your hat. Okay. And you can use it on pretty much all over the hat and including your sweatband. That's very important. Okay. And don't ever stack your straw hat on top of your felt. That is a big no no. We have natural grease from our skin, lotions, stuff that we put on this band. Hair gel, whatever. Hair gel, whatever you use on your hair, it'll get transferred into your felt. And that is a pain in the butt to get off. So that requires me. sanding at some point. Sanding and, and, and if it gets really deep. You're, you're done. Yeah. Time for a new hat. So <laughs> yeah. these things aren't cheap. Yeah. So yeah, that's how you clean it. Just baby wipes. Uh, we use these as a fragrance free. No alcohol, they'll work the best. Perfect, man, I appreciate that. Yeah. So, all right, say you say you go to a bar and you, you know, you're know, you not worried about getting it dirty, but you, you fall, maybe you had a couple of drinks and you fall and you bend your head. Get in a fight, you yeah. never know, something happened. I've yeah. seen a lot of those come in, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Stuff yeah. happens. Yeah, so when that happens, we get this asked all the time in our social media as well, where customers would send us a message that, hey, my hat is bent or it's crooked or, it fell off or my kid sit on it whatever you know you you can tweak it at home it's not you don't have to take it all the time to a hat shaper if it's just a minor tweak you know these hats have a wire on the brim and it and, and it makes it easier to tweak it a little bit like if you for example hit the front or the back and you go like that see it's not ruined it's just wired you can just tweak it a little bit no steam needed okay so you can just tweak it a little bit, okay, and it's done. So that's, I mean, that's pretty important. Uh, a lot of people think even a straw needs steam all the time, anytime you're working on it, but but it's not true. You know, uh, the majority of the shape comes from the wire. Yeah, it is. For example, like this hat, we're gonna do something right quick. It's square. Customer comes in, or if you're out at a party and you wanna make it round, I'll show you how to make it round right quick. No steam needed. Okay, you see the difference already? Round, square. And a lot of people think that you have to have steam for these hats. Also depending on the hat, but a majority of these hats, you don't need steam. So, I said, it's just, it's just a little tweak, just playing with the wire. And you, and don't, have to, you don't have to be rough with them either. No. You're, you're, not, you're not bending a steel bar. It's just, yeah. it's just you're just using yeah. your fingers. Three yeah, fingers just there. fingers. So, and look, completely just a, different look. Just a round, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, you can tweak the hats, just play with the wire. You can do it at home. Guys, if you, if your dog plays with it or your daughter gets a hold of it, your kid bends that wire, you can always tweak it and you know, you're good. All right. So what are some other things inherent to maybe a straw? Is there, is there anything else that we need to know about a straw or is that pretty much it? I mean, they're pretty simple. Th they are, um, just depends on the lacquer, depends on the brand, either old base lacquered or water based lacquer double dip triple dip depends on really on your hat that you're buying um but at the end of the day the care it's it's all the same you know i mean it's just it's shantung material it's woven right and, and we have several different types you have you have the bangora too and then the poly rope so there's it depends on on us what it's made of and the lacquer lacquer type so you have the oil based and the water based mm -hmm. is there anything different between those that would make one more waterproof than the other or are they both pretty they're pretty both gonna be pretty much the same um the old base, in my opinion, is going to be a little bit heavier, mm -hmm. and it's going to have it's going to be shinier. So it's going right. to have a little more sheen to it um, compared to the water base. The water base is going to be kind of like this one. This is this is water based, a little more dull, mm -hmm. which is not that shiny. You know, uh, this is a Radio King uh, straw, but honestly, it's just preference. To be honest, okay. uh, they're both pretty much waterproof, or water resistant. How how easy is it to change the crown? I know we know we can change the brim pretty easily on a straw. How easy is it to change the crown? It's it's pretty easy if the shape is not a, an aggressive shape. Something like this, you're done. A brick, uh, something that you ha that requires some pinching and stuff, you're done. If it's like a soft CHO or a minic, we can definitely change that. Uh, even a cattleman, we can still change it if it's not too pinched. We can definitely change that. 
Okay. For that, I do require steam though. You have to have steam for the crown. And it's, it's pretty much advisable if you want to make a major change to your hat or you're not comfortable, take it into your nearest hat store. Yeah. As long as they're competent, know how to shape a hat, they have a steamer, they have all the proper equipment. Um, is there are, is there any other material? Uh, so we know we need baby wipes. Is there any other kind of tools that we need for for shaping a straw for for taking care of a straw? Um, no, just basically it, just the cleaning. Okay. Um, just take care of it. Make sure that when you sit them down, I always sit them down upside down. Okay, if you sit them down like that, the weight, the natural weight of the hat, it might create creases on your brim like that, and it's not gonna look good. I mean. It'll be like a drinking hat. No, nah, just kidding. But yeah, um, but just, just always set it down upside down. Always. So that's a good point. And I never think to, to mention this because it's it's kind of ingrained. You know, you never uh, knowing the, the, you know, kind of the geometry of a hat and how that how that why it needs to be turned upside down. That's I right. never think about that. But but, you know, you've got this curve on the bottom of the hat. So if you set it down like that, you're going to you're going to kind of lose that over time. Yeah, because. And, Especially because it's, it's bent at the brim, and that's what gives it that dip. So when you push weight on it here, see, the pressure, it's putting pressure where it's bent. So it's almost like it wants to go back to its original shape. So that's where you're going to have those little creases there. Okay. How about sizing? Um, this is a question I get asked all the time. Is a straw hat size different than um, a felt? I have an opinion on that. But what, what do you, what is your... It just, it depends on the brand, honestly. Yeah. I mean... I have some American, some Radio Kings that I wear two different sizes, some really? twisters that I wear completely different sizes. It just all depends on the brand and where it's made. So, so the best bet is try it on. Try it but, on. Or um, if you size your head, is that kind of does it run the same? It, with it, it runs the same because it's measured by inches anyway. So if you tell us, hey, my head is twenty three and a half, we can tell you what size you are. Now, keep in mind too that the hat is not going to fit perfect the first time. I get this all the time. It's not, it's a brand new hat, it's leather band. This hat has got a mold to your head. You gotta wear it a few times. You know, maybe take it out for a couple of dancing nights and sweat it and don't be scared to, to wear it so it can mold to your head. Wearing it once a weekend probably, you know, for a couple hours isn't gonna get it done no. really quickly. You yeah. know, it's gonna take several it's months take, like that. Yeah. You, yeah. you know, yeah. if you're sitting at home and you've got the room, wear your hat for a couple yeah, hours exactly. Tonight. We used to say this to guys, and this is back in the day, man, probably about 20 years, that put your hat on and go mow the yard. I don't matter if it's 100X, 200X, put your hat on, go mow the yard, sweat it, and, and after that, it's going to feel perfect. We used to say that a long time ago, like 20 years ago, man, and uh, I don't do that anymore because most people don't, want, don't believe that, but yeah, that's, that, we used to say that to kids, man, and, 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 and it worked. It worked. All right. Joby, thanks for taking the time and, and telling us about this, um, you know, and, and talking to these guys. We really appreciate it. If you want to, if you want a hat, Joby's Hats, Fort Worth, Texas, give them yes, a call. Sir. What's your phone number? 817-823-9485. You can text or call and look us up on uh, social media, Joby's Hat Store and our website, jobyshats.com. Big presence on um, Instagram, so check him out. He's posting daily um, all of his hats that he, he does, so uh, check that out. All new arrivals on everything, so Instagram or Facebook. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you.